Good afternoon, Sam. How are you? I'm good, Jackson. Yourself? Now today, today we're going to talk about owner builder. Yeah? So, can you tell us what's so good about owner builder? Why? What are the benefits of uh, becoming an owner builder? Well, the biggest benefit of being an owner builder is the cost savings you make by not employing someone else to do the job. That is the main reason people do owner build is to save money. And how much experience does a person need to have to become an owner builder? I had absolutely no experience in any sort of building. I mean, sure, I could use a screwdriver to open a screw and close a screw and things like that, but I had no experience whatsoever in building or anything like that when I did my owner builders. The wonderful thing about an owner builders course is they teach you everything you need to know. The good courses, and there are lots of companies that do that sort of thing, um, teach you very well. That's great. And um... If you had one secret to give about on a builder, what would that be? Take your education seriously uh, would be the first thing I'd say. And the other secret is, is to take your time and just be diligent. Double check everything. Um, check all your tradesmen. Check all of the things that you're buying. Uh, check regulations, check your insurance, just be diligent, be diligent, be diligent. Great. And what are some of the common problems that people experience in on a builder? Um, from chatting to other people, the most common thing I've found is that people have problem with their trades. And that can be stopped by making sure you know about your tradesmen. So checking up on your tradesmen. If you're talking to an electrician. I mean, there's an electrician's board or an electrician's registration place. Ring them up and see if they've got recommendations of good electricians or good plumbers. So do your homework, check up on your, your tradesmen, see how good they are. If you're talking to an electrician, ask him for recommendations. Ask him if there's anybody that would recommend him of other people he's worked with. Um, it's, great. it's easy. And some people might think that it all sounds too good to be true. Is there a catch? Um, it is too good to be true and the only catch is that it's up to you to do the excess work which means it's up to you to be diligent and it's your time and your effort to save the money. So you have to coordinate the trades to make sure they're there on time. It's you that has to make sure you've got your insurance paid. It's you that has to have, make sure that everybody knows about occupational health and safety. That is the catch. If you consider that a catch, it is, but for the amount of money you save, it's not really a catch. Right. And where can people find more information about Owner Builder? We have some information on our website about Owner Building, and every state in Australia has its own building, uh, foundation or building lobby or area and even councils will have information on owner building so if you go to your local state say if you're in Victoria you go to your state building authority and google owner builder Victoria owner builder New South Wales that's where you'll find some information and we have some stuff on our website at iBuild. Great and um, how can people contact you? Easiest way is um, to leave a message at iBuild on our website. We have a tag there where you can click on and go send me more information. Uh, just go leave us a message saying I want Sam to contact me about being an owner builder or somebody else will contact you if you're interested. Great. Thank you Sam. Thank Not you for your time.